My favorite part of working all day with Desiree is the part where we get to choose what weapons we'll use to murder each other with. I'm at a disadvantage though because it doesn't have a very good stabbing ability, whereas Desiree's very good stab ability. All right, so this hardtop project is taking us a lot longer than we anticipated, of course. We wanna get cruising, so we really need to get this thing done. We gotta, we just gotta buckle down and do it. So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna need an 80s motivational montage for this one. This is just a dry fit. You can see that the joint there has uh, nothing to really bond it, just those screws so that it doesn't move. And uh, the other side is the same. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, put some Bondo on the, on the edges here and make what's called a fillet. So like a little, a little curve so that the glass doesn't have a corner that it has to wrap around, but a nice smooth curve. The other thing that that fillet's gonna do, I'm gonna make it out of fairing compound, and it should hold the whole thing together while I'm glassing it. So it's got a lot of stability from like a fore and aft direction because of these frames, but from a side to side, port to starboard, it's still got a lot of uh, like racking. So it actually will shift from side to side because there's just not a lot of reinforcement in that, in that plane, the uh, athwart ship plane. So that's what I'm gonna be working on now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach a new frame on the sides of these. Um, and that is going to, you know, make the frames themselves uh, want to bend side to side a little bit less. Um, and then I'm going to add more reinforcement in that plane on top of that. But in order to uh, glass on a piece right here, the f I'm going to have to glass the new piece and then I'm going to have to glass around to the side of the frame. But I can't do that if this corner here is sharp or a 90 degree edge. This is the major, I, what I would say, the major drawback of using Nitocore, and that is as opposed to like foam or even wood, is that you, with foam and wood, you can just shape that core into just about any shape you want. So you can create a radius on the edges. With Nitocore, you can't do that as is. So what you gotta do is you gotta cut out or route out that core on the very edge, I did it by about a quarter of an inch deep, we'll see if that's enough, um, so that I can fill that gap between the glass uh, with some sort of a fairing compound. I'm gonna use Bondo, and then I can sand both the edge of glass and the Bondo into a radius. So as you can see up here, you've got the uh, longitudinal frame, and then now this small piece, and it's just a two or a one by two inch, you know, piece of Nitocore going down 
and uh, you know making a corner there and it's not glass that's just bondoed in right now although just with the bondo it's a little bit strong strong enough for me to kind of handle the piece still um, and so next step is going to be this piece here I'm gonna have like a two a one by two inch going along this line all the way over to that side and uh, that is what's gonna give a whole lot more rigidity to the hardtop itself and then after that I'm going to put in a gusset like a triangle going from this part of the frame to the upper part of the frame and uh, and that gusset right there is gonna help keep the whole thing from racking in that athwart ship direction so this next step is trickier because you've got a curve this way like that to match the curve on the hardtop but you've also got a curve on the hardtop in this direction as well um, and so that means that there's gonna be two different curves to this piece okay so this is how I decided to uh, try to shape this this uh, you know upper part of the athwart ship frame what I did is I took, I glassed one side of one of the uh, uh, pieces of Nidacore. Then I decided I actually wanted it to be the same thickness as the rest of the frame. So two sheets of Nidacore put together, um, laminated together. So I laminated them, but then I used these blocks and pushed them up against, here's another block, push it up against the curve of the hard top, which matches the curve that I want this piece to, have ultimately and I think that's gonna work really well pretty much finished bonding the uh, forward frame to the hardtop. And so now I've, um, you know, cleaned it up. It, all the fillets and everything are nice and smooth. Um, I've acetoned it and cleaned the surface real good. And then over here, I've cut all of my pieces of fiberglass and I'm just about ready to start glassing this thing. The other thing that I did is I ended up reaming out uh, the first quarter inch of the core on the entire frame. And I'm going to fill that with Bondo and then just go, once it's cured, I'll make a very small little radius on all of the edges so that I can go ahead and glass that exposed um, end of all of the, uh, the frames. step now is I'm putting the electrical conduiting into the frame. So I'm using this PVC pipe as the conduit. Um, that way we can get our electrical wires to come from the cabin 
up to here where I'm gonna have a little electrical panel with a couple of switches for the lights and stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm just heating this bad boy up with the heat gun, and then once I get it nice and warm, then I just tighten this little line here and just keep doing that process, and it's slowly but surely getting that curve that I want it to have. I've got uh, our electrical conduiting uh, bondoed in to the starboard frame. So if you look right here, this is the bottom of the frame and the conduiting pops right out there. So we'll just drill a hole through our deck right there and then feed the electrical wires up this way. And then we got this really slick looking um, uh, little electrical panel. It's got three rocker switches and then a uh, 12 volt outlet and a USB outlet and the whole thing is you know I don't know if you call it waterproof water resistant um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna build a small little electrical box for this panel and it's gonna go right here um, and then connect to a wire coming in through that conduiting <laughs> So now all I'm doing is I'm actually going to lay up some glass into flat panel in a, into a flat panel which I can cut into small little squares and make a box for that electrical panel. We are coming up to the last, the final stage of the creating the structure of the hardtop. So I've uh, cut out all of my fiberglass for this side. Um, I'm gonna try and go with one piece of glass per edge, right? So one piece of glass here wrapping around on either side of the frame, one piece of glass under here wrapping around. So what that'll do is that'll double up so I'll make two more layers of glass on the sides of the frames, and then here on the edges, that'll be one layer. All right, so today is a really exciting day. Uh, there are no areas that need more glass except for the flange or the base here where we're going to actually bolt the hardtop to the cabin top. I want to make sure that the flange matches the curve of the cabin top. So uh, the best way I figured to make a flange that matched that was to actually glass it on here at the cabin top. So we put this plastic sheeting down so that we can glass onto the cabin top but it won't actually adhere to the cabin top um, and then we're gonna kind of glass over and around this bottom part of the frame and then probably about two to probably two and a half inches down the cabin top. Um, we actually decided we're gonna do the flange on the inside of the frame just so that it's less, it's more hidden that way. You can't actually see it from the outside. Um, we've got the towel in place and kind of bundled up ready to accept any resin that flows out of here. Hardtop is bolted into position and it is super strong. Um, I mean, it doesn't hardly budge at all when I move it. 
The flanges worked out great, so they match the shape of the cabin top really nicely. And uh, oh, I'm just so freaking excited. This is just so awesome. Next thing I'm gonna do, final thing before I start fairing, is I've got my box here for the uh, um, electrical panel and I've modified it slightly so that it kind of fits with the angles of the frame. So it's gonna go right there and then that's it. And then it's just fairing, finishing, and painting and that's, that's all we've got left. All right, so the uh, glassing portion of this project is now complete. So now I'm going to start fairing this bad boy. I'm gonna be using this, uh, it's like an automotive body filler um, that Sherwin-Williams uh, makes. I've got no problem using this kind of stuff under fiberglass as a way of creating a shape because the glass encapsulates it and, and uh, is strong. But putting this on top of the glass is gonna be interesting. I'll be curious to see if in a couple of years uh, we start having the fairing cracking on us or if it lasts a long time. The, the point is this is extremely cheap. It's a lot cheaper than Bondo and Bondo is already a fairly cheap fairing compound. Um, so is, is, this is anything but a specific marine fairing product. So this is a great opportunity for me to actually like put a cheap alternative to marine fairing compounds to the test. All right, so now the next big step is for me to start working on our canvas installation. So um, Jordan and I are kind of working on the design right now and the last time I did a project like this it took us like two days to patterns and it was really frustrating. Um, so we're trying to take this one calmly and just do it one piece at a time without getting too frustrated. Especially since I've never done anything like this before. Um, I'm nervous and grouchy um, but also excited to get it done. So yeah that's kind of kind of going to be my day today. Hopefully I won't snap at Jordan too much. My favorite part of working all day with Desiree is the part where we get to choose what weapons we'll use to murder each other with. <laughs> uh, I've chosen my, my, I don't know how to pronounce it, Meyershin. It's like a sailor's knife, you know what I mean? Really cool. I'm at a disadvantage though because it doesn't have a very good stabbing ability because of the blunt edge, whereas Desiree's big kitchen knife would definitely very good stab ability. I'm getting ready to take down one of these panels and get started and um, before I do that I'm gonna try to find a place to sew today. Um, uh, up until this point I've been really lucky and um, the hotel here has been under construction so they've let me use one of the rooms to do a lot of my sewing jobs in um, but they just recently opened up so now I need to find a room so yeah that's gonna be my my hunt for the day I'm currently in our friend uh, Justin's room he lives here full-time and he pretty much works from about uh, 11 a.m. till you know midnight or 1 a.m. at the bar downstairs which just opened up um, and he said because he's never in his room I could feel free to kind of set up shop here um, as long as his uh, girlfriend has already gone to work. I don't know if you can see but uh, I've got all my stuff kind of like hidden underneath his bed trying to be as un unobtrusive as possible. It's 
thing I like to do is use my uh, double-sided seam tape to go ahead and adhere this panel to the canvas. Then I'll go ahead and start to um, draw out where the edges are here. All of my seam allowances written out, two inch double hem, two inch double hem. Uh, this will be a seven eighths inch double hem. I've got my patterning material upside down and on top of this strata glass here. Next step is just gonna be me cutting this baby out. Now you can see that the panels are, the isinglass panels are shaped right now. So all I have to do is take my one inch bias binding and lay it on along these edges here. Okay, so I'm ready to um, baste on this isinglass onto the canvas. Okay, there she is. Place it down. So yesterday I pretty much got this panel ready. Um, I went ahead and folded in all of my um, hems here and then I added on some bias binding here. Everything is attached by seams tape right now, and yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is um, essentially sew the outside border there, as well as the outside border of each window cut out. So here we go, to the sewing machine. the finished product. <sighs> All right. Oh. All right, buddy, you're looking pretty 80s. How you That's feeling? Fun. Pretty hot. Yeah, you're looking pretty hot. Thank you. You got any more 80s dance moves you want to show us? Oh, me? Yeah, I got a couple. All right, this is what I call the running man. Ah, Will Smith, you mad genius. Yeah, there we go. Running man. Nice. All right, what else you got? Got a little bit of the electric slide. Anyone can do that, though. Oh, no, then I go back. <laughs> nah, I don't like that one. This is the Molly Ringwald. That's good. Thank you. Very good. <laughs>